Maybelline. When Chuck Berry came on the scene musically, things were pretty bland. There was a, there was a pop scene going, and there was no music for this new generation, the post-war, World War II generation. And when Chuck Berry came on in 1955 with Maybelline, it just turned the music world upside down and our culture upside down. It gave uh, teenagers a uh, music of their own. They could rebel against their parents or against their teachers. And uh, it just, it was exciting. When you, when you think about it, if, if a songwriter or a musician has one anthem that just transcends music for that particular year or for generations, that's, that's amazing. He has dozens of anthems. You know, Johnny Be Good, Roll Over Beethoven, Maybelline, No Particular Place to Go. It goes on and on and on. Chuck Berry has been credited by the Beach Boys, John Lennon, the Rolling Stones, as having inspired their careers. And you know, you, if you're the guy who inspired the Rolling Stones, the Beach Boys, and the Beatles, then you've done something right. Chuck Berry was totally a phenomenon for the times. He wrote his own songs and is known as the great poet laureate of rock and roll. Now, the motor cooled down, the heat went down, that's when I heard that highway sound. Cadillac set like a ton of lead, heart of tea and half a mile ahead. He intuitively choreographed the first great rock and roll moves on stage with his duck walk. And I said, why is there no statue of Chuck Berry in the town he was born in, the town he recorded in, uh, in some songs, and the town where he still lives and performs? And hundreds of people agreed. They knew that Chuck Berry was deserving of a statue. He plays at Blueberry Hill once a month in the duck room, and it is just magnificent to see him play in that intimate of a setting. It's magical. I think that Chuck Berry created an art form, probably the most important art form of the second half of the 20th century, rock and roll. I think history will remember Chuck Berry as the father of rock and roll. They'll also recognize him more and more, I think, as a person who changed culture and improved race relations in this country and around the world. He brought teenagers, both black and whites, together with music. Yeah, baby.